Ever checked into a hotel, tapped your key card on the door and click, it magically opens? It's fast, simple, and kind of mysterious. But what's actually happening behind that beep and that green light? Today we're unlocking the secrets, literally, behind. How does a key card unlock hotel doors? From how they're programmed, to what's inside the door, to how your card knows which room is yours, you'll never look at your hotel stay the same way again, right here on History of Simple Things. So, what exactly is a hotel key card? Well, at first glance, it looks like an ordinary piece of plastic, kind of like a credit card. But inside, it contains a bit of technology that makes it far more than a room number holder. Most hotel key cards today are either magnetic stripe cards or RFID, radio frequency identification cards. Mag stripe cards, those with the black stripe on the back, store your access data magnetically. RFID cards, on the other hand, use a tiny chip and antenna inside to communicate wirelessly with the door. You don't even have to swipe them. Just hold them near the lock and they do their thing. But neither one actually remembers your room number. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's rewind to the check-in desk. You hand over your ID and reservation, and the hotel receptionist programs your card. In that moment, your card is encoded with a specific set of data. But here's the twist. That data doesn't include your room number, your name, or any personal information. It simply includes a code, a digital key that tells the door lock system, hey, I belong to room 1407 and I'm allowed in, but only until checkout time. This code is encrypted and matched with a corresponding code stored in the lock on your door. It's sort of like a secret handshake between the card and the lock. So even if someone found your key card and tried to open another room, it simply wouldn't work. So what's going on behind that door? Hotel doors equipped with key card access have electronic locks with tiny microcontrollers inside. Think of them as mini computers embedded into the lock. When you tap or swipe your card, the reader on the lock receives your card's data. It then compares that data with what's stored in its own memory. If they match, the microcontroller sends a signal to a solenoid or motor inside the lock. That's the little mechanism that physically unlocks the door. You hear a click, a green light flashes, and voila, the door opens. Here's something you might be wondering. Is it safe? Actually, yes. Modern hotel locking systems are designed with multiple layers of security. For example, time limits. Your card usually only works from check-in time to check-out time. After that, even if you keep the card, it won't unlock the door. One-time encoding. If you lose your card and ask the front desk for a new one, the old one is automatically deactivated when the new card is created. Unique keys per stay. Even if you return to the same hotel room on your next visit, the key card from last time won't work. The codes are regenerated for each guest. Some newer systems even track door access logs. So if a hotel ever needs to know who entered a room and when, the data is available. Kind of like a mini security camera without the camera. Let's dig a little deeper into the two main types of cards, Magnetic Stripe and RFID. MagStripe cards are the older tech. They work a lot like old-fashioned credit cards. When you swipe the card through the door lock, it reads the magnetic data and compares it to what the lock has stored. The downside? They're easier to demagnetize. If you leave one near your phone or a magnet, it might stop working. They're also easier to copy, though hotels mitigate this by changing codes frequently. RFID cards, on the other hand, don't require swiping. 
They have a tiny chip and antenna inside that communicates using short-range radio waves. That's why you can just tap or wave the card near the door. RFID cards tend to be more secure, more durable, and harder to clone. That's why most modern hotels are switching to them. Now, here's where things get even more interesting. In many hotels, the door locks aren't just standalone units, they're part of a network. The front desk system, the door locks, and the keycard encoder all communicate through centralized software. This allows hotel staff to remotely program locks, monitor which cards have been used, even track cleaning staff access for each room. For larger hotels, this system might even integrate with the elevators. You swipe your card and it only takes you to your floor. It's convenience and security all in one. More and more hotels are going digital, replacing physical key cards with mobile keys that live on your smartphone. These work using Bluetooth Low Energy, BLE. The hotel sends a secure digital key to your phone through their app. When you approach your room, the app uses Bluetooth to unlock the door. No plastic card needed. This isn't just a fancy tech upgrade. It reduces waste, improves hygiene, and can even allow for totally contactless check-in. Of course, it depends on having a working phone to and a full battery. So what about your key card after you check out? Is it tracking you? Does it still work? Not really. Once you check out, the front desk usually deactivates your card and it becomes just a piece of plastic. It doesn't hold your personal data, your credit card info, or anything that can identify you. If you accidentally take it home, it won't unlock anything. And no, it won't track your location, though some people do keep them as souvenirs or luggage tags. The future of hotel room access is heading towards smartphone apps, wearables, and even facial recognition in some high-tech resorts. But for now, the humble keycard is still the king of convenience, a tiny piece of tech that quietly does a very important job. It's a perfect mix of security, simplicity, and clever engineering. Something we all use, but rarely think about. So next time you walk up to your hotel room and that little green light flashes, remember, there's a lot of technology working behind the scenes to make that moment smooth, secure, and seamless. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.